Timber, where are you, boy? <coughs> ah, crap, I forgot I'm not supposed to be able to speak. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Today on Radical Toys, we're going to be taking a look at G.I. Joe Classified series, Snake Eyes and Timber, Alpha Commandos. That's right, folks. No 80s ninjas this time. So, here we go. We've got Snake Eyes. I managed to pick them up here in Toys R Us locally, but let's go ahead. Let's dive right on into this package and see what's going on. It's a little bit different looking here. It almost looks like a deluxe figure set because it's in a little bit bigger of a box due to his faithful companion, Timber. So, as we take a look here, we see our ages boring up here in the corner. We got our warning symbol. We've got our snake eyes here in the bottom right hand corner. We got our Hasbro logo. Geo Joe classified logo going on there. And of course we got our figure showcased within. And as we look at the top here, we can see it is number 30 in the line. We see our star on the other side. We take a look at the art going on here, and we got a nice digital piece of art going on here. Looks pretty good. I like this. Looks pretty cool. Flip on over to the other side, and of course, we just see some more stats. Of course, go on Hasbro.com. You can figure out what that is. As we look on the back here, it looks like some things have changed. Not a whole lot. I noticed they added Beach Head on here, so that's kind of cool. We got some trouble bubbles going on here. We got some other, you know, flying copters and other uh, planes and whatnot on there that I'm not sure the name of the top of the top of my head there, but it all looks pretty cool. We got lots of tanks going on there, so this is a nice piece of art. I would actually like to have this like as a poster or something. That'd be kind of really cool to have. We look at the bottom, barcode, and yeah, that's basically it. So. Let's go ahead and get this open, folks. I'll be uh, right back. And we're back, taking a look at Snake Eyes and Timber. First impressions, this is awesome, okay? This is by far, in my opinion, the best Snake Eyes out there. I was not expecting it. When I first originally picked this guy up, I thought, you know what? It's just another Snake Eyes, isn't it? No, it's, it's, it's really cool, guys. Um... We'll go ahead, we'll just quickly dive into the sculpt here, and then we'll just go ahead and move on to the accessories, because there's a little bit to cover, and I don't want to go too, too long with this video, but I just want to go over a few things. Um, let's just go ahead and start with the sculpt with Snake Eyes here. Snake Eyes has got some nice, he's, I mean, he's exactly what you expect. He's all done in black, but it's more like a charcoal black, uh, like almost like a dark, dark, dark gray, rather than a jet black. But you can see, like, in the goggles and stuff like that, it's definitely in a um, darker black. And that kind of goes along with some of the other pieces, like the grenades. And you'll see other different pieces here. He's got two different... He's got a holster here. He's got a nice, cool holster here. And he's got lots of pouches going on here. He's got a nice vest. Now, this is a separate piece. If you really want it to, you could probably get this off if you heat it up and up um i find this piece here gets in the way of the gun holster unfortunately i that, that's kind of one thing that bothers me we kind of look on down here you can kind of see that nice vest going on there lots of detail going on there and you can kind of see the texture you can see like the texture going down the arms there the hands are your trigger hands so it doesn't come with any extra hands so you just got your two trigger hands so they're both the same on opposite sides of the hand i mean that's pretty much it he's exactly what you expect him to be just like all the other gi joe classified figures um i really wanted to focus more on timber than snake eyes simply because snake eyes isn't anything new to the table other than basically the head sculpt um uh, a lot of the pieces are shared so, actually, we can go ahead and we can do that right now. We can just do a quick comparison just so that you guys can kind of see that here. We've got our beach head here. And you can see that the arms are indeed the same. So, he, he shares the torso with beach head. And if I'm not mistaken here, I'm pretty sure, but let me double check here. I'm pretty sure that he shares parts with Flint as well. 
I believe he does share the legs and I believe those are the same boots. They definitely look like the same boots. They look like the, yep, yeah, they definitely look the exact same to me. The shins are definitely sculpted a little bit different though. Let's see if I can focus on in here. Yeah, so you can see the, sh the shin guards are basically, they're different. But the kneecaps look the same. The pants basically look the same. And of course the holsters are going to be a little bit different as well. But that's pretty much a wrap of that. And of course we can bring in our Firefly which is the same deal with the arms. The arms are shared. You can see they got the pouches on both characters there. But that's pretty much it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, folks. And so let's just go ahead. That's our front, side, and of course the back. Now we're not done. Let's go ahead. We'll bring in one more. We'll just bring in one more comparison. And this is, of course, is our retail release other retail release of snake eyes here i've got him on my stand so i apologize that i don't really want to take him off because he's a pain to get back on but there you have it you can kind of see a lot of differences going on there you can see it's a lot of different sculpts uh different parts the boots everything is basically different from both snake eyes even though the snake eyes has more of a charcoal tone where this one has more of a jet black kind of tone to them but other than that, I mean, it's pretty cool. And of course, that's the Ninja. This is the Commando version. The first released version of Snake Eyes is what this is basically based off of. This is the Snake Eyes that I know because I was around during that time. So I do know, uh, I do recall having this Snake Eyes, or at least my brother had them. And I ended up getting uh, inheriting that character later on. Of course, I don't have them now, but back when I was a kid, I did. And I do remember having this character and it was pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. I really like it. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's take a quick look here at Timber. Now, Timber is very impressive. Yeah, I was very impressive with this guy's sculpt. Let's go ahead and quickly dive right into him. You can kind of see he's got a nice head sculpt going on there. He looks like he's got a scar going on his eye. And these eyes are like... Man, they're like kind of, they shine like a beacon even at a distance. They're really bright. I don't know what kind of paint they used on his eyes, but they just look like they they glare right out. They glare right out, those pupils. They look really cool. Of course, he's got the nose. It's all painted. He's got an overwash going on him as well. You can kind of see that all around his body. It's kind of like a brownish overwash. And as you look at the bottom here, you can kind of see it's more of a whitish color. As we get to the top, he's more of a gray, all the way to like a charcoal type of gray. And of course, his finger paws, I should say, his paws have got the uh, kind of like a um, whitish type of sculpt. But of course, the fingernails are done in the, um, or the paw nails are done in black. So it looks pretty cool there. And on the bottom, they're even sculpted with paws. So that's pretty cool. But let's go ahead, dive right into this sucker's articulation because, you know what, this is pretty cool. Uh, he can rotate around in the head. So he's got like a ball joint, joint for the head there. Uh, the neck can kind of go side to side, swivel a little bit, but I don't find I get a whole lot of range with it. I don't know if it's on a ball joint or what kind of joint that's actually on, and I'm afraid to break it so I don't want to put too much force on it. But I will say it's extremely stiff. Um... Underneath the arms here, you can see that these are definitely done in, um, you can see they're on a ball joint there for the arms. So you can actually move these in and out. So it's pretty good there. Uh, at his elbows, you can bend them. You can rotate them. And of course, at the paws, he even has like at the, uh, I guess you could call the ankle area. Um, it can bend. And at the paw, you can do a rocker going on there. And, of course, it's hinge as well, so you can move it forwards and backwards. So he's got lots of range. And it's, it's the same deal with the back paws. It's the exact same in and out going on there. You can even put them nice and straight for the most part. And they also go inwards and outwards. So they're pretty sharp. And his tail... Is kind of like on a ball joint there, so you can rock it around, and it's also hinged in and out. So you can get all kinds of cool. You're gonna be able to get some really cool poses with um, 
with timber there. It's just, that's pretty cool. I absolutely love timber. Um, I was just really amazed with it. And of course, timber has, we'll go ahead and we'll dive right into the accessories now. He has an extra head sculpt, but we'll, so we'll go ahead and start with him so you can pop his head off. He's got an alternate head. And it just pops off like a ball joint there. As you can see, it's just done in a gray plastic there. And you can kind of see it. It's got a nice howling type of look or like growling type of style going on there. And his eyes still shine like a beacon. So it's really cool. I absolutely love that. And you can go ahead and pop that right on. Usually pops on pretty good. I had it before. And now it wants to make a liar to me. I can't seem to get it on that great, but I think I got it on that time. It looks pretty good there. Yeah, there you have it, and that's his alternate head. You're going to be able to get some cool poses out of him. Like, he's a really solid plastic, too. Like, he's not cheap feeling. He's solid. You ever see, like, any of those uh, animals in, like, the toy sections that, you know... Target or Toys R Us and they're really hard. Well, that's exactly what he's like. He's just that nice solid plastic. It's really good Now let's go ahead and dive right into Snake Eyes's um, Accessories here because he's got a slew of them and I was very impressed Like this is the best bang for your buck by far because if you were to count uh, the pieces that come off the weapons he's got one two three four five six seven eight different accessories that's not even including like timber and the extra head and all that stuff so we'll go ahead and we'll start with just the knife so he's got a knife here looks pretty good it's kind of done in a black plastic and it looks like it's just painted with a silver i don't know if the camera's going to pick that up or not try to do my best for you guys there you have it Looks pretty good. You can kind of see like it's got the teeth. There it goes. Teeth on it and stuff. Looks pretty good. That's pretty sharp. And you're going to be able to put that in his hands, obviously. Let's see if I can actually do it this time. Yep. I got it in there, sort of. There we have it. So you're going to be able to put that in his hands. Looks pretty good there. Let's move on. Uh, he's also got a little handgun. That's pretty good. It's just done in a black plastic. So, you know, solid black plastic there. Exactly what you expect it to be. And you're going to be able to put that in his hands as well. So all these weapons are going to fit in their hands. I find, like, when it comes to the guns, they're a little tricky to get in their hands. But they will, they will fit once you get them in. And they will hold quite well. So you won't have to worry about any loosey-goosey type of accessories when it comes to G.I. Joe Classified, I find. They're usually pretty good that way. Now, this is one of my favorite parts. Uh, this is just like the silencer, obviously. And you can put that on the end of the gun. And there you have it. It looks pretty cool. I absolutely love that. It's It looks like um, Solid Snake's, you know, handgun, like his, you know, 45 or whatever you want to call it. It looks pretty cool. And uh, we'll also bring in that nice cool Uzi. I believe it's an Uzi. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But it's got a nice uh, sculpt going all the way around it. And you're also going to be able to put the silencer on that as well. Which is so cool. Like, that is awesome. And there you have it. You're going to be able to put that in his hand as well. Just... So cool. Absolutely love it. And uh, next up, now this is my favorite part of the accessories because this is my first uh, time having a gun that actually has removable clips. So I love this. This just gives you so much more posability. So of course it's done in a black plastic there. And here you go. You got a clip. And you're going to be able to stick that clip inside the gun. And that is just so friggin' cool. It's my first time having an accessory with a clip. Now, not only do you get one, but you get a second gun with the same idea. 
So, and it's a different gun too. It's not the same gun. I don't know what kind of gun this is, but I absolutely love the sculpt. It's pretty cool. And it also has more of a thicker clip going on there. And you're going to be able to stick that in the gun as well. So there you have it. You can load the clip into that gun as well. I don't know. This might not be something that's new to you guys, but it's new to me. There's not a whole lot of characters that I really see around that have removable clips for their weapons. So this is really cool for me. I'm very excited to have something like that. It's just something different. And that is basically the slew of his weapons. Now, will he carry all of his weapons on his person? Let's find out if he can do that. Can he do that? So, it's something that it's, I usually do. I usually try to see if I can put all the weapons on his person without having anything in his hands. I'm just, that's what I want to know. So, let's start out with the knife. So, we got the knife here. We know he's got a holster here for his knife. And yes, that goes all the way in. It looks really good. So, that's check. Um, he has a little holster going on here, as you can, you can kind of see all the way. See if we can kind of see through. There it is. You can see it through there. You can see that it has a hole all the way through. So you can, you know, put the silencer on there. So you're going to be able to load your silencer. So that's good. Let's see if we can get that to fit in there. Yes, sir. It fits nice, snug in a bug. And that brings us to the handgun. So yeah, you're going to be able to put the handgun in there. And that fits on there quite well and uh no but that that's it he that's that's it there's no other areas to put his other weapons unfortunately because he doesn't come with the backpack that's the one thing that he doesn't come with but you know what it's absolutely fine i would rather have timber and all these cool accessories than have a backpack so i'm perfectly fine without having that and yeah so i don't even think i mean if you improvise i suppose you could probably put the uzi on there like, you can probably stick it on there somehow in between these belts, you know. But these ones, I don't really think you're going to be able to do anything with them. So, no, he's not going to be able to hold all the accessories on his person, unfortunately. But he can carry half of them, at least. So, I'll give credit what credit's due. And, yeah, so that's pretty cool, folks. And that is basically our snake eyes. I want to try to keep it as short as I could. But I know there was quite a bit to talk with, talk about with him. And I know I didn't really go down with his articulation. But you know what? We've seen his articulation on these G.I. Joes time and time again. They're the exact same. There is no difference here when it comes to articulation. If you want to see articulation, go ahead and check out my other G.I. Joe classifieds. Heck, you can even check out the other Snake Eyes and you'll be able to see that. So, Or there's lots of YouTubers out there with articulation. So we don't need to do that today. But there you have it, folks. There is our snake eyes and our timber. And yes, that head did pop off of timber for some reason. I'm having a hard time getting that on. So for now, we'll just put the other one on. And yeah, you're going to be able to get some real cool poses with that timber. So you can get them in a patting pose. Uh. So there you have it, folks. There's Snake Eyes and Timber, and, you know, thanks for tuning in, and, of course, we will see you guys on the next one, so take care, and have a good day. Bye-bye!